Hi creatives and welcome back to Agency Academy. I'm hoping that this channel can become a place for you to come for actionable advice and these kind of bite-sized pieces of information that you can quickly implement into your creative business to make your whole life and your business a lot more enjoyable. Today we're going to be talking about creating really good proposals that turn your leads that you have into actual clients and people that keep coming back and appreciate you and want to pay you for your great services. And the first thing I want to talk about is why a proposal is so important because it can sometimes be this thing that we feel like we have to just get away quickly. We want to show them our value, we want to share our budget. Sometimes people can feel like maybe you don't want to put too much effort into it before you know that you're going to get the work. So you don't really want to put all this time and effort into crafting something custom when maybe they'll just say no or they don't have the budget or something like that. And so what I really like is to create a template for your proposal and then you can just customize that template to fit the actual client. So I actually created a template that you can just grab. And so it's in the description below. And so you can just go ahead and click that one. It's a whole blog post around how to use it. And if you want to join the Facebook group, you also get the whole InDesign file. So you can just literally go and, and change things for yourself. And the reason that you want to have a really good proposal is because, first of all, it's a way for you to share your value and show that you really are worth the money that you're asking for. So clients might come in thinking that they have a specific problem that they want to solve. And sometimes it's a good idea to show them exactly how you can help, not just saying, great, I can design a logo for you, but explain the whole process behind it. And this is also a really important step for you, sharing your process in helping your client understand how to work with you. And it makes everything moving forward a lot smoother. Another thing I like to do is to be able to share a little bit of value up front. So getting them to see how you can help. So not giving away any designs, but saying, I would like to approach this project this way or I think this could be an interesting angle for you. So give them a little bit of a teaser into what it is that you can help them with that they couldn't do themselves. So I wanna dig into what makes a really good proposal. And the first section that I always include is a bit of an introduction or a way for you to show that you've understood the brief of the client. So I like to break this up into something like the problem or the challenge, and then have the solution or our approach as the second half of this page. And so what's really good here is you can kind of say back to your client, this is what I've heard, this is what your problem is, this is how we would try to solve it. And you can use their own language. So if they've said, we think it's really important to have a strong social online presence, you can use that back to them and then say, a strong social online presence would be approached in this way from a branding perspective, or the website should be optimized to give you a good social online experience. So by using the same words that they've been using in the first place, it's a good way to connect and also show that you've listened a lot. This is one of the sections that is probably the most custom for each project, but it doesn't have to take more than converting the notes that you took during your first phone call into a bit of text. So it's not that much work, but it does show that you've listened it builds a lot of initial trust and it gives a really good first impression. Another section that I think is really good to have is a bit about your team. And that's perfectly fine if you're the only person in the team. Because here you can put a picture of yourself. That means that you can build trust. People always feel a lot more comfortable working and hiring someone that they've seen. They kind of understand who you are, what you value. And you can also take the opportunity to write a little bit about what makes you or your company uniquely qualified for this project. So if you have a specific niche, you can talk about how you have a lot of experience within this niche or how you're super passionate about this topic that your client has brought to you. After you've had this introduction and you've shown the team, it's time to show previous work or case studies. And this is such a good way for you to show that you've worked on similar projects or that you have really high quality work that they can sort of get as an assurance that you will provide a really good result, that you have good taste, that you can listen to clients. And I think the most important thing here is to combine good imagery with a clear explanation of the brief. So if you just put nice pictures, that will be, you know, it'll go so far, it will help you. 
But if you can also explain, this company had this exact same problem that you're facing, and we decided to tackle it in this way, and this is the end result, and then you show the photos, then they can also sort of imagine the scenario of what it was like working with you for those clients. And it gives a much, much stronger impression of the whole process and the value that you're adding rather than saying, I'm providing something pretty. You're actually saying, I'm providing strategy. I'm providing a service where I listen to you and we figure out a really custom solution. The next section to include is the process itself. And this is something that I think is probably the portion where you want to create most, put the most effort into your template because you can create it once and if your projects are more or less the same, like if you do branding each time or if you do logo design or if you do illustration each time or web design, the steps are gonna be more or less the same. But having a really clear structure sort of laid out for your clients step by step, it will mean that they will feel really comfortable that you know what you're doing. They will feel comfortable knowing they will get a good result. It's like a tried and tested method. And they will also know what they are expected to do at each stage. So it'll save you a ton of time. So what I like to do is I like to have the step. So it might be like discovery or research or concept development. Next to it, I'll have a little explanation of what that means. So why are we doing this step? And I'll also have a goal. So this can be goal as in a deliverable. So like we'll come up with concepts for your brand. Or it can be a goal in terms of we want to figure out what your company goals are. We want to figure out where the website is going to be attracting visitors to or, you know, all these different things. So how are we going to see the success from each of the steps? What is the goal of each of the steps? And then you can also have a specific section, if you like, where you're adding what you're expecting from your clients. So, for example, I'm expecting feedback or I'm expecting files or I'm expecting a decision. So all these things are really helpful because they put everything on the table. And we've heard a lot of times that people actually say yes to the proposal simply because they find it so easy to understand the process and they feel calm in knowing that they sort of, you know, understand what they're gonna get, which is really important. The next step is something that you've probably already put in, which is the budget. And for the budget, I like to always suggest a couple of different options. So obviously if your client is extremely clear on what they want and they only want one thing, then that's fine, you can put forward a proposal with that budget. If your client isn't quite sure what they're looking for, let's say they're coming to you and they're saying, oh, I have, I'm not sure what the budget should be, or I don't know how much of a budget I have, you can always compete with yourself rather than compete with other creatives by putting in multiple options. So maybe one is maybe logo, colors, and a style guide, and maybe one is full branding. And maybe one is doing, you know, a landing page website and the other one is doing a fully fleshed out website. So just even if they haven't thought about it, introducing those different options can be a good idea for them to say, oh, actually, this might be too much for us right now, but that other option sounds really good. And then you're getting your foot in the door and then you can always add on to that later. But it's a good idea for you to put those different options in there if you want to just start building that relationship with the client in the first place. The last page is actually something that a lot of people overlook. Maybe you just put like nothing or you put a cover that just has your phone number on it, which is also great. But what I found is a lot of clients, when they get the proposal, they immediately skip ahead to the end because that's where they think the budget is. And you just want to show a little bit more about who you are, what value you bring. And so instead of them seeing the budget first, if that's their strategy of scrolling to the end, it's always a good idea to put like your portfolio or a little bit about the sort of case studies that you've done or something like that in there. So you can have pictures from your office, you can have like your value proposition, a statement, your slogan, something that is showing why they want to work with you. So that was everything I wanted to cover in terms of how to create a really great proposal. And as I said before, we have actually created a template that's in the description, so go check that out. And I would really love to hear what kind of topics that you would like to hear about. So the goal again is to just give actionable advice. So what is it that you're thinking about in your own creative business? Is there something you're feeling unsure about, that you're feeling stressed about? Maybe something that you just feel like you missed. So let us know. 
And if you thought this video was helpful, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe and hit the notification button to find more of these videos. We have a ton more on the channel about project management, creating your own business and everything around kind of the creative industry. So go check that out and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.